Now, sometimes seventh graders ask me what would happen if we mix them all together. So we're going to give that a try and first we'll pour in these middle ones to get them out of the way. So you can see the colors better. There we go. Okay, well, let's start here. We'll keep going. We'll alternate. So that was number nine. And now five. Now ten. I'll pick the camera up for you so you can see a little better. Now, 11. Now, 3. Try it a different way. This time I'm going to put two in first. And here's twelve. Now thirteen. Finally, one. Well, I wonder what I could do to get it back to that middle color. So here's my beaker with the substance that was first on the yellow side, number 13. bit more. Well, what if we added just a little bit more? So here's the substance that was added to number one. It's quite dark. I don't know how well you can see it.
Number one again. Back to number 13. More of number 13. just a touch of number one again. Hello seventh grade. Today we're going to put some various kinds of products into some cabinet water. Most of these are things you could have sitting around your house. So here are the test beakers. And um, the first substance we're going to test is some sauerkraut or kimchi that I made at home. Had for my lunch today. So I stopped the video for a moment because I realized maybe that test solution was a little light. So I've got some more and I've added a dropper full to each of the other beakers already. And so there's our first color. Now next is sugar. This is just ordinary Kroger brand granulated sugar. A little bit more. The colors of some of these might change a little bit over the next few minutes, so we'll come back to each of them and observe again at the end. Next I have this drain cleaner, which is very, very hard right now. I'm gonna to have to do my best to break a piece off. Okay, finally got some broken off, so here's the drain cleaner. I'm using a clean one of these little lab spatulas each time. Okay, moving on. Now salt.
Next is baking soda, Arm & Hammer baking soda. Use it to make some cookies if you're bored. Or hungry. So you see, even though it didn't dissolve immediately, it did cause a color change right away. Okay, now we have this lovely hand soap, liquid hand soap, which we use here in the lab. Not a special kind of soap, I just got it from the store. Okay, next is the chalk powder. It comes in a bottle from a company, scientific company that I get chemicals from. It just looks like that. It's like if you took a piece of chalk, ground it up. Okay, now moving on to Ecos brand dish soap. It's very, very stringy. <laughs> Again, we'll come back and look at these and see if anything changes. Next, we have your ordinary Heinz brand white vinegar. Finally, this is a bar of soap that I made with the current senior class when they were in 10th grade, and um, you have to let soap cure for a long time, so I just want to break off a piece to see if it would be safe to use on my body yet for hand washing. So we'll just stir that up and let it sit for a minute. It's also called lye soap because it's made with lye, which is drain cleaner. Okay, we'll come back to those in a moment. Okay, so here we go to... Look down the list again, sauerkraut, sugar, drain cleaner, salt, baking soda, liquid hand soap, chalk powder, dish soap, vinegar, and the homemade bar soap. So if you'd like to test some substances yourself, it's really easy. Just cut up a purple cabbage and boil it in some water like you saw me doing in the other video. And then you can mix some of that liquid with water and try to have it be the same color for lots of different substances. And you could test a variety of products in your house.